We are now in a post-Brexit vote environment. So what does that mean for property investments? Well, today I've come to the House of Lords to meet Lord Mendelssohn to find out. Lord Mendelssohn, it's an honour to speak to you today. Thank so, you for coming. First off, what would you say the property environment is like today, considering this Brexit vote? Well, naturally, it's uncertain. We live in a world where we don't really have a government at this stage which has a sense of direction, where people are not sure about what the future is. So there's a great deal of uncertainty. There was some initial panic, there are issues, there are concerns, but we are in a moment of uncertainty where the country will have to galvanise and government will have to get behind uh, the commercial world and the commercial markets to support those things. The Bank of England is doing a great job already to make sure that the economy rate remains stable. And I think that in the environment that we're in, there is still an opportunity to invest in a whole range of things. It's just that investors have got to make very smart judgments and they've got to look at the investments that are put before them. Well, what makes a good investment in this kind of environment? Well, one way you can calibrate the risk more effectively, where you can see the type of project or asset that you're looking at, and where you can get a better view as to what your upside and downside risk really are. On those sorts of occasions, what you've got to look at is much more closely the detail of what the price going in, the likely price going out, time and areas of uncertainty. Those things you've got to make reasonable calculations. I mean, rates are coming down and rates will remain down for a long period of time. So other assets are going to be important for any investor. Well, of course, transparency is hugely important in any type of investment. But how can investment firms really win the trust of their investors, would you say? Well, a lot of that is down to whether or not you've got a good record. A lot of that is whether or not you're able to provide your investors, most of them are very sophisticated, with the sort of information that gives them the chance to make an informed judgment as to where it will be. And your ability to be open through the process to make sure they understand the type of risks and challenges that you face and to be able to come at the very end with a return which is within the range of expectation. I mean, that's not the hardest exercise. The worst thing is always to overpromise. but to do your job properly, to do the right sort of selection, the right sort of analysis, and to present that to your investors, that's the job of good professionals, and that's what, that's what this, this current market needs. What do you think UK investors need to really be mindful of, though, moving forwards, considering this post-EU referendum environment? Well, there's a lot, there's a lot where you would say that people who are expecting high capital growth very swiftly, very quickly, huge patterns of that, the curve will probably be very different to what it was before. There's still value to be had in changing the purpose, the use, the capacity of any particular, in real estate, any particular piece of property or building or facility. There's still value to be extracted by a range of changes that you can make. But expecting some of the traditional ways of increasing your capital by growing just because the market is growing. Those things you could be a little bit more circumspect about. So you've got to look at a longer period, a longer tail, but you can still make value by, by adjusting an asset particularly well and making it work well. It involves good selection, good professionals working on it, good people analyzing it, good people making that project deliver on time and in the way that, way that it has to. That sort of stuff is still possible in any environment. There does seem to be a lot of panic, though, at the moment. I mean, we saw that today with Standard Life. So do you think this is slightly unnecessary? Do you think people are panicking for no reason? I think there's a lot of people who are, who are over-concerned and are making very short-term judgments to try and hold their positions. Uh, and, and unfortunately, as happens with those sorts of panics, you're likely to create an adverse condition for yourself. The lending facilities are being supported by the Bank of England. It's very keen to ensure that capital still continues to flow through the system and that people should feel very comfortable in maintaining those sorts of positions. There was always going to be panic. There will always be moments when there's a degree of panic. But the sky is not falling in and markets will not collapse to nothing. You've got to take a sensible risk and understand that these things are about time and they're about the moments to make sure that we keep the oil and the engine running. Mm -hmm. And how attractive is the UK to investors now considering this Brexit vote? Well, it's still very, it's still very attractive. I mean, uh, it's almost uh, counterintuitive uh, for a variety of reasons. If you look at currency, mm -hmm. you know, for those people who are outside, they see a huge advantage to be gained by currency changes. So there always remains an opportunity 
in any particular set of changed circumstances. But more fundamentally, the UK still remains a place where in all sorts of areas in real estate, we have uh, weaknesses in the number of houses, we have huge amounts of infrastructure still to build, we have huge amounts of facilities still to build. There's still a strong requirement to build and develop and renew. And that always presents huge opportunities for any part of the real estate sector. And any sort of issues that the House of Lords are talking about when it comes to property at the moment? Well, our bigger concern is really about how government handles the entirety of its negotiations. So as regards property, the, the area we're most concerned about are the areas which the Bank of England are dealing with, which is maintaining li liquidity, maintaining confidence, and maintaining the flow as the banks get a little bit under, under, you know, under threat. Uh, by the concern, particularly in some places in Europe. It, the Italian banks are very weak at the moment. Mm -hmm. So it's just to make sure we maintain stability. Those are the sorts of things that we're concerned about. But as far as the sector is concerned, I think there are much bigger issues that we have to face about the type of future, the type of direction the country takes, the type of trade agreements. Those things are the sorts of bigger directions and they won't affect the real estate market in the way that some people might expect. Other things will carry on in this country. We've got a few quite complex political issues to deal with, but the markets will carry on and we'll still have a strong economy. And of course, finally, at a grassroots level, if the Bank of England does cut rates again, they're saying maybe 0.25%, Bank of America's even saying zero, which uh, I'm not sure that will happen, but if it does, surely that's good news for people who are gonna take on mortgages and for investors when it comes to lending. That's right, I mean, lending, the long range forecast is that rates will, will, will be low, probably lower than they are now, and they will remain low for quite some period of time. As I say, when these market adjustments take place, there are a variety of different impacts, which means there's always a reason to invest in other asset classes rather than just putting your money into a bank. If you're looking at getting a better return from a very low, long-range forecast, you've got to look at other assets. And if you choose the assets well, and you choose your investments well, you can be reasonably reassured that your return will significantly outperform the easy way of saving. So that's still a purpose for people to use their skills and to use their cash to make a huge difference to their own prospects by investing well. Lord Madison, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for coming.